and the camel can actually know when you are on or when you are on your periods and when you sit on it high time I just want to look my way and never back to you It's another beautiful day, but it's not sunny though. Keeps on disappointing me. The sun keeps on disappointing me. But anyway, let's get to the point. Um, I'm at the beach, and I really want to show you some a really cool bikini, crochet bikini. Yeah, I'll not be able to show it like on on the video, like when I'm holding. But I'm gonna put a clip of it so that you guys can have a quick look at how it looks. And you can order if you if you want to if you like it and if you want it you can contact me and have one Yeah, I'm not only gonna show you the bikini, but I'm gonna tell you some facts. Facts, they're actually facts that I don't I, I just learned today. Like I really never knew this is what happens at the beach and these are the reasons why these things happen. So first of all, I was complaining to one of the workers here in the beach and telling him, Why don't you clean clean the beach? I didn't know that the beach is never cleaned, it cleans itself. And on the, one of the reasons they don't clean these uh, uh, the leaves that I'm going to show you shortly at the beach is because they, they, they are carried away and come at the shore with the eggs of the fish. So the fish are never like... Uh, they never they never is like hatched yeah they never they are never hatched in the in the in the ocean they are brought like this to the shore by by the water together with the leaves and they and um, they remain here at the shore these leaves with the eggs and after some, some time when there is sun they they um, they hatch and that is how fish are born and then the, the water comes back and uh, the fish goes back to the ocean I mean I didn't know that did you know that? I know, I know you didn't know. Let me show you what I mean. You see, I, I don't know what are these. I don't know what are these. I don't know what they are. But you can see over there, there are leaves. It's dirty. The place is dirty. And you can get irritated as I was. So, sometimes you find the leaves are many than this. And that is why the fish are hatched. And then, and then eventually, when they sun eventually, they like they are hatched like the egg bust you know what I mean and then um, the fish now gets back into the water and that is how it happens yeah yo fact number two that was fact number one fact number two I don't know I don't know what to call it but that is what I've been told you see here at the beach we have camels the camels are used like just to carry people not even carrying it's like a trip just like enjoying yourself yeah so the the the, the camel was also used in the early times the times of jesus <laughs> if i understood that yeah and the camel can actually know when you are on or when you are on your periods and when you sit on it high time ka, it will refuse to to carry you it will remain there lying imagine how does even the camel know that you as a woman uh, you are on your period i mean oh my god that is crazy that is crazy that is crazy as in how does it and if at all you're gonna force it to carry you it's you're gonna sit on it then it's gonna wake up then it's gonna throw you like out of it 
I don't know how I can explain that, but you know, you know what I mean. It's a kurusha na uko. Like, what? Ah! Oh. Another thing about the camel, when you, when you, when you like, um, have sex with someone, and then you don't, you have not bathed, then you come at you, now you're being carried by the camel, my friend. It will not. The camel will not carry you. If I got it right, of course I'm a keen listener. That is what he told me. The camel will not carry you. And if you force it again to wake up to carry you, it's gonna throw you away. Yeah, and here comes the camel.